Hey Aries, welcome to your love reading for June 1st to the 11th. Hope my Aries are doing good. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. As you can tell, I know I got my samples. I'm very excited. Go ahead and check out the merchandise. Link is below, okay? Also, guys, I want to thank everybody who's donated. Um, I've gotten a lot of donations recently, and I really want to thank you guys so much. Your donations go really, really far. Trust me, they go really far, guys. Um, and thank you to everybody who's also commented, liked, and subscribed. So, Aries... Um, tapping into your energy, it's always war with you guys. I don't know why that is, but it seems like lately it's always about war, okay? Um, I heard drums of war, like that term, drums of war. Um, I feel like you're really getting into it with somebody uh, that, you're, that you, you've you spent a lot of time with. You've spent a lot of time with or worked a lot with. Um, this might have already happened. For a lot of you, I feel like it's about to happen, okay? Um a lot of drama, a lot of bickering, a lot of like back and forth, back and forth bullshit. Um, but then <laughs> while you're in the midst of this battle with this person, or, you know, maybe you haven't been fighting necessarily with this person, but maybe it's been a fight to be with this person or to try to get with this person. It could definitely be indicative of that. Um, then it's like, I just heard spoils of war, fruits of war, spoils of war, fruits of war. I don't know if that's a term, terminology, whatever, what have you. Um, so now there's like, like fireworks. It's like, uh, I'm getting like epiphany. So it's almost like in the midst of the battle, in the midst of the war with this person, or again, the war battle to be with this person, to get with this person, there's an epiphany happening. And I feel like it's for you, Aries. It could definitely be for the other person, but I feel like there's an epiphany happening for you, Aries, about this person, about what this person means to you. And I feel like this drama, this battle is really only happening because the two of you do have so much passion for each other. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, it's almost like, oh, it was like, are you the person I've been fighting with? You can't be the person I've been fighting with. And, you know, it's like all of a sudden, for whatever reason, you're seeing them with completely new eyes. Okay, completely new eyes, a completely new perspective. But I really feel like it's the right perspective. I don't know what caused the drama in the first place. I really don't. But whatever caused the drama in the first place, it definitely had a misunderstanding about it or a misperception about it. Okay, and it's almost like Oh God, like I feel like I've seen this in a movie before where, and it's totally just to explain the energy. You're, this is not going to happen to you. Where, um, what was that movie? Oh, oh, <laughs> Dodgeball. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie. It's, it's kind of funny. It was really funny for the time. But anyway, um, so it's like these two oppo like opposing teams are going at it, right? And it's like they come up to the line to like hit each other and then they just like instantly fall in love. You know, it's it's that kind of feeling. It's that kind of feeling. Um, so let's get into the pre-shuffle cards here. So we have High Priestess in Reverse, which is Piscean energy, also Gemini. It could be a Piscean Aries cusper. Nine of Cups in Reverse, more Pisces energy. And the Knight of Swords in Reverse, Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Now keep in mind, guys, with this new moon in Gemini on the third, along with other shit going on, uh, a lot of communication. There's going to be a lot of communication and changes in how people communicate and how people listen. I think that's going to be a very key difference here as to like going from battling to just like, oh, you know, <laughs> I feel like that's going to be the, a very big key difference here for you guys. It's going to be a very, very intense month of emotions and communication, mostly because of Gemini influences. And we actually have a couple Cancerian influences as well, which I thought was really interesting. But anyway, so this is the drama. This is the drama being had. And I feel like the epiphany is like all wrapping around the drama here. OK, but with Nine of Cups in reverse, it's like I feel like you I feel like you both have been wanting the same thing out of it. But yeah, I just feel like communication's been off. You both have been wanting the same thing. You just don't communicate properly with, with each other. And it's not even that I don't think you guys... Actually, you guys might communicate the same. That might be the problem. <laughs> that might be the problem. You guys might communicate too too much alike. Way too much alike. Because um, like, you, know, you know how that goes where it's like, you know, sometimes things need to be a little different in the other person for it to be kind of like really, really great. And if you communicate the same, that should be fine. But if you both communicate, maybe like Aries, that could get a little combative, right? So it just depends on how you two are communicating. But I feel like that's pro the problem. Either you two are almost identical in how you communicate, but you don't like being spoken to the way you communicate. 
<laughs> or it's just you guys just don't really get how the other one communicates. There's a problem with communication at the end of the day. And then the epiphany, the fireworks. I'm actually getting magic now. The magic, the magic of it all. Ace of Cups and the Six of Swords, Aquarian energy here. That with love comes peace. With love comes peace. There's a fine line between love and hate people. A very fine line. A very fine line. It's like a hair. It's like, it really is. And I think you're learning that, Aries. Um, I think there's a lot about this person that really gets under your skin. But at the same time, there's so much about them that you're just in awe of and vice versa. And vice versa. There's there's a lot of mutual kind of feelings here, okay? But there's something about this love. And I feel like it just kind of pops up out of nowhere where it's like you're going at it. You're going at it in a, you know, fighting kind of a way or a dramatic kind of a way. When both of you, all you really want is like to have someone to care for and to have someone to care about you. That's what you both want. And it's like as you're in the midst of getting in each other's faces, hopefully you're not really doing that. But you know what I mean? It's like you both look at each other and you just realize it. And it's like, oh, we could actually have like utter peace if we just like don't like rip each other's throats out, you know, <laughs> it's actually it's 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 really endearing. It's it's gonna it's like a magical moment. I hate to sound cheesy, but it does feel like a magical moment. Now we have nine of pentacles, which is pre empress energy, Virgo energy. Oh, come on. There we go. With the three of cups. See, it's like. This is celebration and rejoice. I feel like someone's having a lot of fun here. This Nine of Pentacles, Aries, I do feel like it's you. Oh. <laughs> that might be what starts the drama. I feel like you're having a lot of fun, Aries. You're having a lot of fun. Oh, yes. This might be the drama. Someone might not like that you're having so much fun, Aries. And especially with Nine of Cups in a verse. There could be a little bit of boozy booze going on here. It's coupled with the three of cups. There could be some boozy booze going down here, causing a little bit of a fight. Um, but I, I, I feel like it, it might just be out of jealousy. Again, it's like you both want the same thing, but you guys haven't said that you want the same things. You know what I mean? So it's like it's going to come out in an explosive way. Explosive, explosive, explosive. And while you two are fighting, it's like you're real. It's almost like you're realizing you're fighting because you love each other. Like, oh, that's the real reason we're fighting. We just give a shit about each other. <laughs> but another thing that's interesting to me, Aries, we have a Queen of Swords in reverse here. Libra energy could also be air or water with a Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be um, uh, fire or water here. OK, someone definitely cut off the love supply. Someone definitely cut it off. Aries, it might have been you. It might have been you because um, you're having a lot of fun right now. You're having a lot of fun. You're enjoying it, but at the same time, it's like I do feel like someone gets upset. Again, it feels a little booze induced. Doesn't have to be, but it feels a little bit. It feels like an overindulgence in impulses. Let me put it that way. There's an overindulgence in impulses going on here, and it's really uh, revealing some truth and some secrets. And then all of a sudden, it's like there's love and peace. You know what I mean? So. Aries, you could have cut off the love supply. They could have cut off the love supply. But regardless of who cut it off. Someone's having a lot of fun and someone else doesn't like it. Argument ensues. Drama ensues. Oh, shit. Epiphany. We're just fighting because we really love each other. Oh, you love me? You love me, Aries? <laughs> or you love me, person of Aries or partner of or person of Aries, partner of Aries. Um, it's very much like that. It's very much like that. Only an Aries would find themselves in that predicament. Um, anyway. All right, guys, let's get into it. For those who are not uh, accustomed to viewing tarot readings as a viewer or who are, not, who are not sure or still have questions about how to view tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out my video below. Link is down there in the description. Okay? All right, Aries, let's get into it. Any messages for my Aries regarding love? June 1st to the 11th. Any messages for my Aries regarding love? June 1st to the 11th. Yeah, I'm getting explosion, explosion, explosion. This is all unveiling itself really fast. Really fast, okay? Uh, you're going to be surprised, Aries. Whoever is going to be upset in this, like upset that uh, someone else is having fun, okay? Is, is They're, they're going to get a surprise. They're going to get a surprise. The person on the receiving end of that. Any messages for Aries? Because I get the sense that it's like, whoever is starting this argument, Aries, I feel like it's someone starting the argument with you. Um, it, it's like, it, it, it's like you, you care. 
why do you care? You know, it, it's it's very much like that. Why do you care? Uh, any messages for Aries? Because <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I just can't tell you that. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of it's funny. It's kind of funny. Any messages for Aries? But someone's in love. I gotta be honest. Like that Ace of Cups there. Someone's in love. You both are really. You both are. You just don't want to admit it to each other. Any messages for Aries regarding love? Four of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. I like it. I like it. Coming out of the box. Coming out of the box. I don't know what that's about. Coming out of the box. I feel like that's about the truth. I'm like, coming out of the box. Who comes out of a box? Any other messages for Aries regarding love? Two of swords in reverse. Yes, yeah, someone's made a decision. Someone's made a decision to step forward. Ooh, and claim the star. Oh, I love it. Aquarian energy here. Oh, I got power power there's power off of this card here this is definitely someone chasing a wish fulfillment here but it's being pushed by like by a trigger you know what i mean where it's like why are you partying why are you with those people why are you with them blah blah blah, blah. it's like it feels very much like that but there's power in it there's power in it is what i'm getting and definitely aries i feel like someone is approaching you in this kind of energy any messages for aries which you respect, actually, I must say. You respect that about this person? That it's like, oh, they're going balls to the wall with me. Okay. <laughs> and Aries will definitely respect that. They might not like it, but they'll respect it. Any messages for Aries regarding love? And I think that's why it triggers you, Aries, to kind of fight back. You know, because it's like, you respect it, but you don't like it. Any messages for Aries regarding love? June 1st to the 11th. Oh, oh my God. Lovers, lovers, Gemini energy, which is, uh, this is my divine soul connection card. So soulmate, twin flame, divine counterpart, whatever resonates with you. <sighs> oh man. All of a sudden I felt the fire. I felt the fire, Aries. Any other messages for Aries regarding love? June 1st to the 11th. There's something about the way you two argue. I, I don't think you guys have had an argument quite like this. Um, I think especially because it's leading to an epiphany of love. Um, but yeah, you haven't had an argument with it like this with this person before. And I feel like it does get very heated, but then it quickly turns over to like passion. Any other messages for Aries? Interesting. Ten of Wands in reverse Sagittarian energy. Putting down the weight and the burden. Huh? My gosh, just said I'm not saying anything. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, can I be a fly on the wall when this happens? Can I please? Can I? Overall energy. Oh, Knight of Cups, Piscean energy. Again, you could be an Aries Piscean cusper. It's also fire and water underneath that, by the way. We've got justice. Oh, <gasps> with the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God. Aries, I do feel like someone's coming in to claim you. And, you know, it feels very fiery. So, of course, again, like for anybody who, you know, watches tarot readings regularly, this could be vice versa. But definitely someone's coming in to claim. And it's it's because they're feeling like, what the hell are they doing? Why are they with those people? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? No, you're mine, Aries. Is that clear? You're mine. <laughs> but again, it's more about like, you fight, you fight, you fight. And then, boom, it turns over to like, Oh, is that why we're fighting? <laughs> is that why we're actually fighting? Um, it's it's exciting. It's really exciting. I'm excited for you, whoever's resonating with this. Um, but let's get further into this. Someone's clearly made the decision, right? Truth is coming out. Someone's coming in, Aries. Someone's coming in real quick, real quick here because they don't like your singlehood. That, that nine of pentacles we saw, that's a very single energy. They don't like your singlehood. They don't want you to have options. They want just you, your, theirs. It's like, I'm getting like branding imagery now. Oh, I don't, I don't think they're actually going to do that to you. And I know an Aries wouldn't like that. Um, uh, sorry, I'm getting a download. If you're going to get tattoos with somebody that you're in a romantic relationship with, please be sure that it's something that no matter what happens, you'll always want it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just make sure it's not, and Hey, no shade. We all, we all do what we're going to do, right? You want to get your tattoo on get your tattoo on um but if you're gonna get tattoos with this person 
just make sure it's something that you really love and that you're not going to always associate with them just in case the unforeseen happens, okay? Anyway, so the truth is coming out. Someone's made the decision to come in Aries and to tell you what's what, tell you what they don't like about what you're doing, about how single you are and how they're not cool with it. Um, you're gonna be like, what the fuck? You don't have a right to say that. And then, oh shit, you love me. <laughs> it's very cute. Tell me about two of swords in reverse. Tell me about this decision being made here. Tell me about two of swords in reverse. Tell me about this decision being made here. Tell me about two of swords in reverse for Aries. Tell me about two of swords in reverse for Aries regarding love, June 1st to the 11th. Tell me about two of swords in reverse. Tell me about two of swords in reverse for Aries. Oh my. Ooh, ooh, what is going on over here? Okay, so we have five of swords, Venus and Aquarian energy. Four of cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. What the hell? Ten of cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Wow, page of swords in reverse. Oh, oh, <laughs> Aries, no wonder you're ticked off. I see what's going on here. Two of wands in reverse, and then we have king of cups in reverse, scorpionic energy. Could also be water or air. Now, before we even get any other cards out here, I just got to say, I definitely think <laughs> you've had back and forth with this person before. Not in an argumentative sense, but I mean back and forth as in like hot and cold. You in, you out, you want this, you don't want this kind of energy. I'm getting rejection energy, but it feels like it's in the past. Definitely feels like it's part of the past here, okay? Um, and it was a lie. I mean, that's the other, I've seen, I've seen this before. I know I've seen this before. I've seen this before sometime in the last couple months um, for a couple different signs here. Um, yeah, definitely I've seen this before for a couple other signs. Yeah, someone I feel like had already rejected this opportunity. Tell me about two of swords in reverse for Aries regarding love june 1st to the 11th and aries i think you were on the receiving end of that rejection which i know you're not used to now we have a hanged man piscean energy um yeah which i know you're not used to but th th this th this person um the person that you're dealing with the person who's coming in now who's like no you are mine it's like well i could have been yours and you didn't want this you don't get to have this. You know, it's very much kind of like that. Tell me about Two of Swords in Reverse for Aries. Overall energy for the Two of Swords in Reverse, we have Magician in Reverse, which is Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius or Scorpio for me as a reader, Divine Masculine energy. <laughs> yeah, this person, this person definitely, I, what, what, it wasn't intentional to play mind games. No, no, they're no, they're telling me it wasn't because I was about to say this. This could be kind of trickstery based off of the cards we just had, and they're telling me no. They just they're just kind of unfortunate as far as the decisions that they make here. Okay, um, I get the sense that they were scared. I know it's like cheesy and typical, but hey, it's a typical answer for for a reason. You know, a lot of people go through that. Um, but that's what I'm getting. I I feel like they just wanted to lie to themselves about it. With the five of swords and four of cups in reverse, a lot of ego. I'm just getting flat ego. Just like like their shadow side is, is all hanging out here, okay? Um, re rejected this decision before. They Yeah, they def this is like a second or third go here, Aries, for the person that you're connecting with. Um, I feel like they rejected you before. It left them very unhappy, very unhappy. Ten of cups is all about full happiness or lack of in the home or in the family environment. And that's just like, you can go home and be miserable, you know? And because this person knows, this person knows they were not honest with themselves and they weren't honest with you. Rejecting you made them very unhappy. Rejecting you made them very unhappy in the past. Um, and it's almost like they're deciding, okay, I'm not gonna do that again. I'm not gonna do that again. Cause look at this, so with the two of wands in a verse, king of cups in a verse and the hanged man they sat in this energy for a good while for a good while aries they sat in this energy being emotionally closed off or not i'm actually getting not emotionally well that's interesting they weren't emotionally well while sitting in this energy here um and not knowing what to do about it knowing they made a mistake but not knowing how to fix it right and they were stuck in this spiritual pause like how do I go about this? How do I actually get back to a state of being happy? Um, and the truth is, 
just going with their heart, going with their gut, doing what their intuition should have, you know, was telling them to do in the first place. That's really what it is. Um, but overall, they're having an issue manifesting, right? Because it's like they can't get out of their own way. Yeah, it's like they can't get out of their own way. Anyway, so moving on. Moving on to the epiphany. <laughs> you love me? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? What are you smoking? <laughs> it's, it's that kind of energy. This feels like a big bombshell for you, Aries. You're, you're surprised, especially because a rejection has already taken place in the past. Very clearly, very clearly a rejection's already taken place and they're coming in here for with an offer and to claim because they don't like you being single. They don't like you going out. They don't like you partying. Hold on. They don't like you doing any of that single stuff that invites other people in. They don't like it. They don't like it. Um, <laughs> wrapped in a bow just hand like hand picked for you it's really interesting because this person i feel like is a lot like you hold on let me get some water here mm. i feel like this person's a lot like you um but i think there are some major key differences here and i feel like ego is one of them I feel like ego is one of them and experience. I don't know why I'm getting experience, but I think experience is a big part of it. I don't even think you two are that drastically different in age. You could be. You could very well could be. Um, but I, do, I feel like experience with relationships is vastly, vastly different. Vastly different here. Okay. But anyway, let's look at the star. Let's look at the star and see what's going on there. All right. I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck to clarify. Tell me about the star. Tell me about the star for Aries regarding love, June 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the star for Aries regarding love, June 1st to the 11th. It's hard to make an Aries speechless. And Aries, I think you're going to be a little speechless. A little speechless here. Tell me about the star for Aries. All right, that feels good. Oh shit, we're at 22 minutes? How did that happen? I, I'm trying to be better about keeping my time lower. My bad, my bad. I know you guys like it. I know you guys like it. It's for me. I'm apparently terrible at keeping time. <laughs> okay, so tell me about the star for Aries. Tell me about the star. Come on, tell me about the star. Yeah, this is something you've actually been wanting, Aries, for a while. I think you resided yourself to feeling like, oh, didn't happen, didn't happen. Um, I think you resided yourself to that, but you're about to be surprised. Oh my, oh, oh, interesting. We have Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be fire or air. There's the drama, right? The arguing, <laughs> the fighting, the bickering. Two of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy could also be soulmate energy. Yeah, all this, <clears throat> excuse me. All this combative energy seems like it's it's transpiring because there isn't communication or clear communication about this connection, almost like ignoring an avoidance. I think you might be dealing with someone who has a typically what's that? What's that like life love love style avoidance? It's like yeah, I think it's just called avoidant, like love style. Um, I feel like you're dealing with somebody like that, um, and they can't avoid. They can't avoid it anymore. They can't avoid it anymore. Magician, again, and double confirmation in reverse. Um, mercurial energy, so Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, divine masculine energy here. Yeah, see, it's like because they, they're they they're getting in their own way. There's someone who gets in their own way. Five of swords in reverse. I like seeing this in reverse. Venus and Aquarian energy, forgiveness. Oh. Oh, this person. I just like want to pat them on the head. Be like, it's okay. Um. Uh, they want you to forgive them for the rejection that took place, however long ago that it took place. Um, but again, they're coming in so abrasive. <laughs> they're coming in so abrasive, Aries, that I think it just gets you agitated regardless. Uh, but they do want your forgiveness. They do. They do. They they realize now who you are, what you are to them. They, they realize. They know. They know, Aries. Tell me about the star. And I think that's also why they're coming in abrasive. They don't want to really show their like their guilt. They don't really want to show it. They want to show up all strong. Again, ego, right? Ego. Um, so they're still coming in a little ego based. Decide how you feel about that. Tell me about the star for Aries. Ooh. 
Oh, oh, <laughs> it's kind of cute. Sorry. Now we have Ace of Pentacles in reverse with Six of Cups. You might even go, oh, oh. <laughs> you might even do one of those, Aries. Six of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Could also be um, soulmate energy, past life energy, karmic energy, okay? They're sorry because this was a missed opportunity in the past. This is something they could have had and they said no and they're, now they're coming in like, okay, no, this is what I want. I, I surrender. I admit, I admit, Aries, you're, you're the one I want. You're the one I want. I admit it. Overall energy for the star. Three of swords in reverse, a Libra energy, healing, a lot of healing. Yeah, this is, this is, this is cute. This is cute. By the way, underneath that, the sun, happiness, freedom, illumination as well, illumination. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. They want your forgiveness for whatever happened in the past between you two and whatever rejection took place for missing the opportunity with you. Um, and this conversation is, I feel like is actually very healing. It starts off combative. It starts off fiery very warlike, battle-like, and that it, there's something that's said that makes both of you just look at each other and realize, oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, you mean a lot to me, actually. Um, and I feel like once that moment happens, they're gonna say, like, I, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done that. That was a big mistake on my, my part. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. Well, because there's someone who gets in their own way. Very self-sabotage kind of energy that this person has very self sabotagery I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to conjugate that. Anyway, moving on. Um, let's get you some advice, Aries, from the Spirit Animal deck here, okay? Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Oh, come on. Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries? Ooh. Hold on a second. Oh. oh, I dropped one of the gilded cards. Oh, that's funny. But we do have a few out here. Oh, oh my God. Aries, I rarely get such a sweet, like sweet reading for you. And I'm I'm loving this. So we have Snake Spirit, Time to Heal with number 55. Bobcat Spirit, Life is a Mystery with the number eight. You know, I love the number eight. Dolphin Spirit, This and That are True. 20 breaking down to a two. You could be doing the Gemini. We have strong Gemini cards here. Um, and this is also a very Gemini-like card for me in this deck. And then we have Nightingale Spirit, Love is All Around. 41 breaking down to a five surrounded by love even if they're fighting with you you're surrounded by someone who loves you um so aries all of this advice is basically saying like it's time to heal whatever needs to be healed here okay it's time to heal with this person and i feel like they're the ones who has to who really has to do a lot of the healing but it's about healing the connection healing the bond here okay and there is going to be apologies there is going to be recognition um, and it, and again, it's like this epiphany, this bombshell is just going to shock the hell out of you. Life is a mystery. Just roll with it. Just roll with it. Okay. Go with the ebb and flow of life. You're being given, um, a second chance at something that could be really beautiful. If you want it, if you don't want it, you don't want it. All right. You don't got to take it. You don't got to take it. The, this and that are true. I feel like it's about like the two sides of the same coin in your connection with this person. Okay. Because on one hand, you guys can be so combative. You can be so fiery with each other. So nah, 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 with each other. But at the same time, on the flip side of that, you can be so just like a meshed with each other. One with each other. Like, I feel like you two really, really understand the other, which I think is why, again, it's like two sides of the same coin. Why you two were also very quick to kind of get into arguments with each other because you are so much alike and cut from the same cloth. Okay, so yeah. Both are true, but it can work. You just have to have good communication. And up until this point, there really hasn't been. And that new moon in Gemini on the third is bringing in a lot of changes in communication, which I think is helping you guys here, okay? And the Nightingale spirit, there's a lot of love. Don't forget that. I feel like that's what spirit wants to hit home with you. There's a lot of love here, 
a lot. Do not forget that because of an argument or do not forget that because you're busy, you know, shooting cannons at each other. Um, <laughs> very fine line between love and hate. Very fine line. Any other advice? Everyone's been getting that card lately. Uh, another one came out here. Any other advice for Aries? Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any other advice for Aries? <laughs> God, okay, wow. So then we have these last two cards, Peacock Spirit, Let It Shine, 46 Cyclical Energy, and Fox Spirit, Think on Your Feet, 27 Completions. Yeah, you're closing out an old chapter of your connection with this person, the chapter where they rejected you, the chapter where they were super egotistical. They're still very egotistical. Do not get me wrong. They're still coming from very ego-based way of thinking and feeling, but they're actually listening to their heart space now when before they weren't, okay? Um, and it's, it's just acceptance. I mean, granted, it's like, I can tell it's hard for them to actually say the words, which is why they're coming out abrasive. I can't, I can't show them I'm soft because that's weakness, you know? It's like, I can't show them like I can't show them I regret my mistake because that's weakness. It's 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 still ego. The ego is still very much there. Um but with this energy, I feel like this is about like that wrapping up of the conversation, right? It's like um that quick split decision to just speak the truth, to speak what you feel. You know, Aries, even though they're the one causing a kerfuffle, causing a ruckus here, um I feel like you're going to be the one to call them out. Like you're going to be one to put them up, put them on the spot. Like kind of like how I said in the beginning, why do you care? Why do you care? And they're probably going to give you a generic answer and you're going to go, no, that's not it. Why do you really care? You know, very Aries like, very, very Aries like. And I feel like you're going to force them to speak the truth by shining light on the truth. Like you're going to give them that opening and they're going to speak it. Okay. But you're definitely going to be the one to call them out. Just be careful, Aries, not to be so direct and so whew, Aries about it. This is a hard conversation for them. And they're only coming in because they're angry about your singlehood. Okay, that's the only reason they're coming in is because they're angry about it. And they're upset that it's like you're not with you're not you're not acting like you're claimed by them because you're not. You're not. Make that clear to this person, by the way. They're a little possessive. They might be another Aries, to be honest. They might have some fire in their chart or a fixed sign. Um, they're a little possessive about you. And I think it's mostly because it just hasn't been spoken about how you two feel about each other. All right. Time to speak. Time to speak up. Time to speak up. Aries, I know that you don't have a problem speaking up, which I'm kind of surprised you haven't yet. There was no good opportunity. Okay. That's what they're telling me, that there was no good window yet to do that. There wasn't a good chance to do that. Not a good environment. It's like <laughs> the environment wasn't right. It's like something like that. You didn't get a proper chance to. You didn't get a proper chance to. It wasn't the right time. It, was, it wasn't the right time. It just wasn't the right time. Overall, we do have Flamingo Spirit. Not surprised this came out since we also had Dolphin Spirit. These two are very similar in their meanings here, okay? Um, this one is about heading towards like the promised land. This one's about embracing all aspects of change. That's the main difference here, okay? That's why this has a vibration of eight. That's why this has a vibration of two. Um, but that's really what this is. It's like, it's very similar to Dolphin, except there's light at the end of the tunnel. There's success to be had here. There's prosperity to be had here between the two of you. And it's all going to start with an argument because someone doesn't like your singlehood. And you're going to put them on the spot. And they're going to speak the truth. And you both are just going to be like, Oh my God, we love each other. <laughs> I, it's like, I'm telling you, that's, I feel like that's exactly how it's going to go down. Um, but anyway, Aries, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to go on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, don't forget to have a really good night as well. Okay, Aries, I will see you later. Don't forget to tune in this Friday for the live chat on the new moon in Gemini. Okay, bye guys. Namaste.